I'm Ola Langren. I'm chief of the Myeloma Service at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York City. Here at ASH 2019 in Orlando, Florida, I have presented data on our new phase two study for newly diagnosed multiple myeloma patients. This study uses deratumumab in combination with carfilzomib, lenalidomide, and dexamethasone, so-called dara KOD regimen. We have used this in a weekly dosing schedule, so weekly dara KOD. Every patient has been treated with eight cycles, and after that we have determined the MOD negativity rate. What we show in this study is that we can obtain MOD negativity in almost 80% of the patients, and this is in the absence of a given transplantation. Patients who are uh, MRD negative are given the option to either keep the stem cells and go right to maintenance or to do a transplantation. For patients who are MRD positive, we would counsel them towards doing a transplantation and then going to maintenance. But the study is focused on the eight cycles of combination therapy with MOD as the primary endpoint. The results we see with about 80% MOD negativity is unprecedented in the newly diagnosed myeloma setting, in particular in the absence of a transplantation. So this has already prompted us to develop the next study, and we are just about to open a large, randomized, multi-center study where we will use the weekly DARA KOD dosing uh, for eight cycles and the control arm will be the VOD regimen and there will be a second control arm which is the KOD regimen and this will also be for eight cycles. And the study has the primary endpoint of MRD negativity. Thank you.